Hello everybody! Welcome back to another week of KTV. I feel like, why not just introduce ourselves? I think we should say our name, just our first name, oh. or your middle name if you'd like. Nah. Okay, so just our first <laughs> name, and then I think we should say our favourite thing, like noise, thing to press that makes a noise. Okay, great. Should I start or would you like to start? Okay, my name is Harry. And my favourite thing that makes a noise is definitely a pen. Oh, that is quite good. Yeah. Well, my name is Sonia. Nice to meet you. And my favourite thing to press would probably be... I feel like, you know those pop-it things that all the kids are... The fiddle toys? Oh, like the, the big the yeah. things and the... Yeah, I feel like they're quite nice. However, I do have this, which does look quite tempting to press because I think it might make a nice, satisfying click noise. However, I feel like we might just have to give it a second. Where? Sit in the anticipation. Where did you find this? Where did it come from? That's... Well, it all started with when I woke up this morning and then I went about my normal day. It's okay. I'm it's going to fine. press the button. Right now? Yes. <laughs> Whoa! How did I just get here? Where am I? Sonia? You know, I was actually in the middle of a really good story. What However, is this? why am I? I? Well, welcome. I don't think you and I have ever been on a segment together. I don't before, think we ever. have. So I, I was... think we just can't disrupt the timeline too much. So I'll see you on the the other side. Yeah. What, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Whoa, Rachel! <laughs> what what well, are you doing? Where did Sonia go? Unpleasant surprise. I don't know. It was is a very here? unpleasant I surprise. Here, I think so... this button is broken because I asked for something good. And it didn't really provide. Um, that's a real shame for you. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. I think it's. I think I've got a faulty one. I'm gonna have to. Well, while we sort out this button, yes. I reckon we throw to our first segment. I, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite question. The question on everyone's lips. Have you ever thrown anything into a bucket of water? I know I have regularly. It's called Will It Float? And on today's items, we have some very exciting floatable or not floatable things. So you're gonna have to let me know what you think. First up, we have this T-shirt. Um, I don't know, Will It Float? What do you think? All right, three, two, one. Yeah, that definitely floats, um, which is promising if you go swimming with your clothes on. So we'll put that back. Uh, next up, we have a mermaid. Mermaids are often well known for their swimming cap uh, capil capil cap capabilities. <laughs> but will she float? Three, two, one. Yes, she does float. Not a very good mermaid, I might add. And finally, a quarter pounder. An item I'm sure you've thrown into water many times. Uh, but will it float? Three, two, one. This is a very floaty <laughs> segment today. Um, so great to see that all of these items float. Um, I hope you had a lot of fun and got all your guesses right, and we'll see you next time. So disgusting. <laughs> You there! I challenge you to a game of Joel Says. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Sorry. Joel Says. Pat your nose. Mm. Joel Says. Pat your shoulders. Joel Says. Flap your ears. Blinkly fast! Wait, hang on. I... Oh, wait, hang on. I, 
can't tell if I'm tricked you or not. I think I was blinking too fast. Well, that's no matter. I think I probably beat you because I'm just that good at this game. Thank you for playing. Now, all of this year, in fact, we have been learning about the way that the Bible is God's big story that points to Jesus. And we're right at the end of our Savior series where we've been learning about who Jesus is, what he did on earth, the things that he taught us, and the way that he lived his life. So next week, we are going to start a new series, which is called Follower. And it's basically about how we can follow Jesus. Now, you might be thinking, what does it mean to be a follower? What, what, what is a follower? Example A. If you, for example, are on a construction site, there's going to be a foreman. Now, a foreman is someone who knows the lay of the land. They know where the unsafe things are. They know where the falling pieces of heavy stuff is. They know where you as a visitor on the site need to be so you can stay safe and out of harm's way. So you've got to follow their instructions. Similarly, if you are, let's say, at a crime scene, or even if there is a traffic accident, or uh, the lights have gone down and there's no red light or green light or orange light, and you're like, what do I do? Where do I go? There'll always be a police officer nearby telling you which way is safe, where to go, and if you follow their instructions, you'll be able to get through the situation quite easily. Or, for example, let's say if you're in the army or the military or the navy or the... That's all of them. Yeah. In one of those things, you will always have a commanding officer. They're the person that trains you. They're the person that tells you where to go, when to go, and what to do. And if you listen to them, you'll be able to learn what it means for you to be a cadet, basically. You'll learn your skills as you go along when you listen to the instructions. Or let's say you are Ooh. a knight. Now, knights, oh goodness. Knights have to follow and listen to a king. The king is in command of the knight. So if a knight wants to be a good knight, he can't just be like, yep, I'm going to do what I want, because then he's kind of just going for a walk. So he's going to listen and follow his king to know what it is that he needs to do, or they need to do, I should say. So what does it mean to follow Jesus? That is what this series is all about. We're going to be learning about how we cannot just believe in Jesus, but we can follow him. We can live out the things that he's called us to do in our daily lives. So stick around next week. Come along. You're going to learn all about what it means to be a follower of Jesus. See you then. Okay, I think I fixed it. I've been working on it during that mm, whole segment. I think I fixed the box. Now we're not going to get anything unpleasant. That's good. Hopefully it is only going to give us good things from now on. We can only hope so. We can only hope so. Well, I'm going to press the button now. Yeah. Okay, I will take the risk. Yeah. Hopefully it'll work Please out leave. for you. Yeah. Yep. Me too. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Are you sure? Um, <laughs> what I miss if... you too. Yeah, it wasn't that great. Okay, go. Yeah. And uh, large fries with that. Uh, Nelson! You're not McDonald's. What a pleasant surprise! Um, no I'm not. Welcome to KTV filming. We've had oh. a bit of technical issues this morning. No! I got changed! This wasn't what you were wearing? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay! Um, well I'm glad to see you here. This is much better than what this I was This is much better. With. We've never been in a thing. No. Never. But I'm starting to think there might be a reason. Oh yeah. Maybe I yeah, should... So, yeah. I, this button does some strange things, so maybe I should... Are you sure? Happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was at a drive-thru. Yeah, I can see that. I hope your car's not there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, hi, hi. McDonald's? Yeah. Um, Ra Rachel was just here. Yeah. Has this happened before? About the McDonald's thing or about the, the like swapping, the person swapping thing. thing? Um. Well, it did happen when Harry and I were first together. Oh. But other than that, I think we may have a consistent theme going on. However, I'm so excited because I get to see your face. Oh yeah. You is um. Are you? You got any good stories about what's been I happening? I have so many good stories, but actually, I think. We should reminisce for a second oh, yeah. because you and I actually have a long history, we right? Maybe we'll catch up, but yeah. while that's happening, why don't you guys go check out today's teaching? See you soon. For the past seven weeks, we've been on a journey through the Gospels, learning about who Jesus is and what he did while he was on earth. What's your favorite story about Jesus? After he was baptized, Jesus spoke about and demonstrated how to live God's way. He performed miracles, shared stories, gave promises, and even washed his disciples' feet to show how important it is to love people. But the best demonstration of his incredible love was yet to come. You see, Jesus came to earth to be the savior of the world. He was the one God's people had been waiting for for many generations. 
See, way back at the very beginning, in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve chose to disobey God. And when they did, sin entered the world. Sin is what we call anything that goes against God's plan. It's the things we do when we choose our own way instead of trusting and following God's way. And sadly, sin separates us from God, kind of like in this picture. But because God loved the world, all of people, including you and me, so much, he wanted to make a way to fix that gap. So he sent a savior named Jesus. So how did Jesus do it? How did he save the world? Did he have a magic cape? No. Did he fly in on a magic carpet? No. Did he freeze all the bad guys? No. The true story of how Jesus saved the world is found in our Bibles. Let me tell you how it happened. Jesus had been teaching people all about God's kingdom and God's true love. There were many people who chose to believe in Jesus, listen to what he said and follow him. But there were also many people who hated Jesus. They didn't like what he said. They didn't like how popular he was. Basically, they wanted Jesus gone. One of Jesus' disciples, a man named Judas, told these people where they could find Jesus. And one night, while Jesus was praying in a garden, the soldiers came and arrested him. They took him before the leaders. And while he was there, people told lies about Jesus. They accused him of things he'd never done. And yet Jesus stayed silent. The people shouted louder, crucify him. They wanted Jesus killed. And even though Jesus had done nothing wrong, the decision was made. Jesus would be crucified. He was whipped and then led to a place named Golgotha. Here the soldiers hammered nails into his hands and his feet and secured him to a cross. The cross was stood up so all the people could see. Jesus was in agony and whilst he could have called the angels to come and save him, he didn't because he knew God had a bigger plan. At midday, the sky turned dark. The sun stopped shining. Jesus called out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And then he breathed his last. Jesus died and his friends, his followers were devastated. They didn't understand. They thought Jesus had come to save the world and Jesus had, but it didn't happen the way they thought. This was an incredibly sad day, but it wasn't the end of the story. You see, three days later, Jesus came back to life again. By God's power, he defeated death. His disciples were amazed. They didn't believe it, but then Jesus stood among them. They could see the scars in his hand and his feet. He talked to them, he walked with them, he ate with them. Jesus died and went through all that pain and agony for his disciples and also for you and me. You see, when Jesus died on the cross, he paid the punishment for sin. Not his own sin, because Jesus had never died, but the sin of all the people in the world, past, present, and future. That includes my sin, and that includes your sin. But Jesus did it because he loved us, and that's how he saved the world. Can you say the Noah verse with me? From John 3, 16 and 17, it says, For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Jesus came to save the world, but now we have a decision to make. Will we choose to believe in Jesus? Will we choose to believe that he is God's son, that he came to earth, that he died on the cross, and that he rose again to take away the sin of all people? You know, that's a choice I made when I was five years old, and I've never regretted it. And that's a choice you can make today, if you haven't already. If you want to make that choice, how about you say these words as we pray now. Hey Jesus, today I choose to believe in you. I choose to believe that you are God's son, that you came to earth, that you died on the cross, and that you rose again to take away my sins. Jesus, thank you for loving me so much. Today I choose to follow you. In your name, amen. Wow, that's so exciting. I'm so excited for everyone who prayed that prayer, whether you prayed it today or whether you've prayed it before. Jesus is your savior and Jesus is my savior. And that's our bottom line. So let's say it together. Ready? Jesus is my savior. So um, I was in the drive-through and 
there were, and then I'm here. Yeah, so, so did you get your order? No, I'm really hungry. Oh. So can I? Yeah, just... no, absolutely. See if you can go back. Just I see... wish you all the best. Good Thank luck. You. Take care. Safe travels. <laughs> Harry! You're back! What? Oh, gr uh, great! Well, wow, it's so good to be back. Yeah. I was just about to have a nap. Oh, were you um, at home? Yeah, I like had oh. teleported back and now I'm here and look, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't really well, want to... No, oh, I think we might well. just keep it under wraps for now, just in case anything else tricky or odd happens. Mm. Um, well, I think it's been quite an adventure today. I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit exhausted from all of those insane travels that we've just done. Yeah, well, I'm going to go back home and try nap again, and hopefully, okay. you know, we don't come back yeah, here. Yeah, hopefully you'll be a little bit more know. successful this time. I mean, it's been lots of fun. It has been. We got please. to see lots of many friends that we don't normally get to see on, yes. on the side-by-sides together, friendship things, you know? Yep, pretty much. You've summed it up perfectly. Yep. We're doing great. All right, well, thanks for coming on, guys. We'll see you we'll again see you next week. week.